Okay, it's Daniel Levy. We're at only today 1.57. Should be in a, a line with the teachings correctly. Rub Shlomo guys are shik. I'm here in Sedona, sitting in the car where my wife is teaching kids kicking cancer. Kids with, uh, with cancer or family members who want to learn martial arts as a way to overcome their challenges. Amazing. She's doing it in the parking lot. Amazing. Amazing, right? She's doing it in the parking lot. Anyways, I want to share with you an idea. You know, I remember when I was in my 20s, um, attracted to Buddhist philosophy, and it was awesome and fun, and it gave me a great excuse to be, like, not responsible, <laughs> and uh, uh, to learn to be in the moment. And everything in mindfulness and Buddhism is a lot about detaching from of course all the things we're working on detaching from the future and the past and tomorrow's sorrow and yesterday's mess um but why is it that here by this sort of teacher a jewish teacher only today raka yom in hebrew only today he didn't say only now right now in a Buddhist philosophy right now is a big thing be in the now be in the right now there's nothing but right now we have nothing but this moment and it's interesting in, in Jewish thought it's that's not really the the chunk the chunk we're taking is be only today only today why why because what came to me is the idea that today is a totally different box than now now there's nothing to plan and on some level there's nothing to work towards because wherever i am that's where i am which is beautiful and important but there's what to work for and we don't know if we'll wake up tomorrow so working to whatever we can accomplish today staying focused on today laying out okay this is what i think i can accomplish and that seems very significant do, 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 do. Think about what you can, the, the Mechaber, Rabbi Shlomo Elzer Shik says, we should think about what we can accomplish today. Do, 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 do. I got in the thrift store, this CD, for a dollar to benefit the Humane Society. It's, uh, Interesting. It's like a. It's a Native American tribal orchestra music, I guess. So take a minute and think about what can you benefit from today? What can you benefit from just today? What can you accomplish? Can you call up 10 people and bring them joy? Can you learn a text and memorize two sentences of it and review it 40 times and internalize a piece of truth? Can you clean up a room, the entire room, that you have yet to clean and you'd feel good? What can you do that fits inside the daylight hours that you have left? What can you do that fits inside those daylight hours? And you would say, I am so happy that I worked hard. What fits inside your energy level and your time and the place you're in that you can accomplish today? Not right now, because if it's all right now, wherever I am, that's where I am, and that's its own skill, and that's a beautiful thing. We talk about that another time, how to, how to embrace the moment. But that's not what we're working on in this series. We're working on only today. Hayom. So ask yourself, what can you accomplish today? The rest of the day, what? Let's say right now it's 416, but I got six hours, let's say I'm gonna be awake. Who knows, maybe more. What can I do in the next six hours with my wife, with this time I have, it's a day off. What can I do? What can I do? What needs doing? Who needs me? 
can I accomplish? Take some time, pause this, or just listen to this and think about what you can do. Over and out.